What's going on, guys? We're back with MLB 23. Game one against Baltimore. from beautiful Oriole Park at Camden Yards. Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the Pittsburgh Pirates taking on the Baltimore Orioles. First pitch coming at you right after the break. So just about set now. Our starter in this one, Jordan Balazovic. Some people wonder if he was tipping his pitches last time out. He was getting hit all over the ballpark and being hit hard. Today, we look for him to make an adjustment and be on the attack side against these hitters. And now, Key Brian Hayes. Leading off for Pittsburgh, the third baseman, number 13, Key Brian Hayes. And the pitch. And first offering is fouled off. For Finn, 706. It's off his shoulder, eats him. Oh. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Got the top of the ball a little bit, but not much. That was hit pretty hard through the infield. So I think he'll be happy with that swing. Definitely generated some good bat speed. And now it's Andrew McCutcheon, ninth in the National League at RBIs. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Fires. Runner on the goal. Get down. Throw to second and great jump. Nice. Well, he's batting leadoff and he's acting like a traditional leadoff hitter. Gets on base to start the game, then puts himself on second with a nice stolen bag. I think that sets the tone for the offense for sure. Hayes at second with nobody out. Swings through oh. and that's a strikeout. Oh, really expanded the zone right there with that fastball off the outside corner of the play. Got him to chase it. That's a tough one to lay off of because it starts close to you and just continues to run away from you in that batter's box. So it's a really nice pitch with two strikes. Brian Reynolds here carries the eighth best batting average in the National League entering play. There's a strike. That's through there for a strike. Well, this guy's so comfortable hitting with two strikes, even a good pitch early in the at-bat. If he's not ready to pull the trigger, he's not worried if he gets to an 0-2 count. Runner at second here, one gone. Oh. That misses, and a count one and two. One ball, two strikes. And yeah, that's outside. Two. Good eye right there. Fly ball down the right nah. side. If it's fair, it's gone. And that is gone. Nah. I'm waiting. That'll but... fire up the dugout. It's his eighth <laughs> uh, home run of the play year. Of the and the Pirates take come. the lead. It's 2-0.
pitch he wanted to hit spent on some other pitches in this at bat was very patient and it paid off. Here's O'Neill Cruz. Swings through that oh, one. Oh, and one. Just a slow ground yeah. ball this time. Tosses to first. Got, got the out. That is it. The left fielder, Jack. Sawinski. Two outs, base is empty. At the plate for Pittsburgh, Jack Sawinski. He is quite an athlete. I mean, you look around the other sports, basketball, football, you feel like he could thrive in one of those sports, too. That one's in there, 0-1. On the ground, right side. Uh. Mountcastle oh. takes it to the bag. Third out. Yeah, we got the three. Cannonball coming. And it's two zip. Back here in Baltimore. And today's starter, Mitch Keller. And Singy, that may be his name, but the strikeout is his game. Well, Boog, I can tell you've been working on that one, but yes, you are right. This guy strike out per nine, over 11. I mean, that's just getting it done. There are a lot of strikeouts in that other lineup, and when you look at what he's able to do, man, to it's go. going to be a Four fun one to watch Orioles. today. Ready to the go for the last half of the inning. Here's a speed threat, number 95. Swing and a miss. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. Next offering is in for a strike. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. And right back to the mound. Fires over to first. One up, one down. <coughs> Batting second. The designated hitter. Gunner. So digging in, Gunner Henderson. That misses. And it's one and oh. Stairs. On the ground. Over to Cooper. Here tonight, an efficient start to the home first, two away. The right fielder, Anthony Santander. Anthony Santander at the plate. Not only can he hit the cover off the ball, he's got a great eye as well. First pitch doesn't find the zone. That one missed. Kicks and deals. Looks like he's just sizing him up there. Really good pitch to hit, but he took it all the way. Sometimes guys just want to set their timing later on in the game. That may be a pitch that he turns on. And yeah, there's a ball. Now front pulls that one foul. Now it's three and two. Ball oh. Looked like a questionable call in that spot. He even seemed a little surprised it went his way at the plate. But as a hitter, he'll take that all day. Here's Ryan Mountcastle. Out to short. Cruz. Rolls across the diamond. There you go, Cruz. And, the inning. and the Orioles leave one. They trail it here to nothing. And 
and welcome back. And now the first baseman, Garrett Cooper. Garrett Cooper. The pitch. Line drive. Yes, but Cow. Kowser makes the grab <laughs> one down. Batting seven, the right fielder. Michael Up next for the Pirates, Jones. number 92. Hey. And there's the strike. Mm. Swing and a miss. Clearly all in on the fastball right there, but it was a changeup. Bottom just fell out of it. He's going to have to make an adjustment. Softly hit to third. Tosses across the first. And a couple of quick outs. Good late bite on that slider. Got the hitter out in front, rolled over on it. Exactly what he was supposed to do. And first offering is fouled off. The pitch. Swings through the fastball up in the zone. This guy's pounding the zone. Hitters don't have time to think in between pitches. Back foot slider ties him up, struck him out. Down in order go the Pirates. But they hold the 2-0 lead. Bottom of the inning. Here's Adley Rutschman. He is at the top of the game in terms of defense at the catching spot. Here comes a pitch. And that one missing low. It's so impressive because these guys have to do so much study and preparation for their pitchers, for opposing hitters, and really their number one job is to guide that staff through a ball game. And so when you also can turn it up offensively and be a force there, that is a win-win, every manager's dream. Going to count one and two. Battling here as he fouls it away. Here's a one-two. Stays alive. In the air to left, down the line. Can't get there, base hit. Oh! And that's a leadoff double. Put a pretty good swing on that one as he drove yeah, out the deep left. Yeah. Didn't yeah, quite have yeah. the right combination of launch yeah. angle and exit velocity yeah. to get it over the fence, but you're never going to be disappointed with extra bases. And first offering is fouled off. Well, Ramon Arias, spectacular defender, won a gold glove in 2022 and became the first Orioles third baseman to win a gold glove since, you know who, boo? Manny Machado. That's right, in 2015. Squeezes it, rounder tags it second, and he's in safely at third with one out. And now it's Austin Hayes. And Boog, I'd say he's due. And this is a big opportunity for him to pick up his teammate right here. And first offering is fouled off. Runner on at third, one gone. Next Whoa, pitch misses that? outside, and the count is one and one. So because of the injury, a replacement needed at third. And here's the pinch runner, Samuel Basalo. The 1-1 one, one is fouled off. That misses the zone. Two balls, two strikes. And that one got a piece of it. Back. He had two strikes on him. 
And he hit him. After all of that, he hits him. Man, I was really enjoying the battle, and I didn't expect it to end like that. Jordan Westberg stands in now and watches strike one. Next offering is in for a strike. Just a really nice slider down and in there. He wants to get the hitter thinking fastball, speed him up, and just subtract some velocity and add a little movement. First and third, one down. Foul ball, it stays nothing in two. The idea was right, looking to locate that fastball up and in. He just missed his spot a little bit. And one, one and two. Ball. Tries to get back and save. Foul ball still, one and two count. You can see he was trying to stay back long enough to handle the off-speed pitch, but just a little tardy on the fastball. The one, two. Now a high fly ball out to left center. Reynolds trying to get there. Nice grab on the run. Runner tags from third. Throw is offline, and he scores. And it's a one-run game. There you go. Nice little RBI there. It's a great at bat. Got the job done. And next for the Orioles, Colton Kowser. They say you win. Yeah. And there's a foul ball. Owen Chu now. Ball one there. Two strikes. Got him. Yeah. Good job at nice. damage control right there. So a run on one hit, no errors, and a man left. We play two full. It's the Pirates two and the Orioles one. You're now into the game, Samuel Vassallo. He takes over behind the plate. Number 32. And here's the catcher, Henry Davis. Leading off for the Pirates, the catcher. Henry. The wind of the pitch. A swing and a miss, and that's strike one. Out to short, Westberg. On to first, and a quick out number one. Deceptive slider right there, stayed in the tunnel a long time, got that hitter out front, rolled over it, put it on the ground. Hayes. So the lineup flips over. Now batting key Brian Hayes. Way inside, gets out of the way. Hayes measures 5 feet 10 inches, 27 years old, and he was selected to the All Star game last year. And it's even up. One ball, one strike. Just missed. And the right hander deals. Good eye in that spot. Swings and misses. Three and two now. I think he was sitting off speed there. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Well, he opted to go with the off-speed stuff on that 3-2 nice. with now the bases that, empty. Close pitch. But now he's got to work out of the stretch. McCutcheon. So, man aboard. Here's Andrew McCutcheon to hit. He was a strikeout victim his first time. Runner on the goal. And that one sliced foul. Hayes leads off first with one away. Runner. Here's the pitch. Runner goes again. Foul ball there. Come on, catch. Throw to first. No, Hayes back easily. Runner on the move again. Swing and a miss. Shit. And that's a stolen base, not even close. 
Brian Reynolds getting ready to hit. He's already homered in this game. Line drive, base hit. Here comes Hayes around third. He'll score. It's 3-1. Does a great job of letting that runner steal second base, get in the scoring position, come through with the base knock, you add a run. Two outs, runner at first. O'Neill Cruz, the next pirate to hit. Runner on the goal. Out towards right center. No! It's well struck. That's back there. Let's go, baby. Cannonball go cut. He'll touch them all, and they add a pair. It's 5-1. When you're working with this kind of velocity, so critical that you move the ball around, work quickly, and make sure that you keep that hitter off balance. Clearly not fooled by the location or the velocity. He was all over that fastball. So two away with nobody on. Jack Sawinski, the next pirate to hit. Ripped to short. Whips it to Mountcastle. That's the third out. Another look at this two-run homer for Pittsburgh. It's now a 5-1 ball game. Back after this on the show. Welcome back. Set for the bottom leading of the off. third. Blue leading Orioles. off, number 95. The second baseman. Edward. Keller yeah. back to work. There's a strike. Hey. And he takes a strike. Well, he's gotten ahead with two pitches down in the zone. He has plenty of options right here. He can go up. He can go away. He can add velocity. Oh. He can subtract. And a one two. Ball two. And now it's filled up. Oh, and there's a fly ball deep right field. Hits the top of the wall. The throw into second, and he's got a double. He absolutely ripped that ball out front and almost got it out of here, man. Just a really strong balance swing and a fraction of an inch different on the bat. And it is probably out of here. Could be a chance here for them to start clawing back into this ballgame. Now it's going to be Gunnar Henderson. Strike one. You know, these Orioles showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. He's only given up one run, but the starter's pitch count is starting to get up there, and that might be the best news yet for this offense. Sawinski makes the grab one away. Ball back in quickly. Runner holds it third. Now it's the switch hitting outfielder, Anthony Santander. You know, sometimes all it takes is getting to the next arm before an offense does any damage, and that might be the case today. That misses the zone, and that's ball one. Next offering is fouled back. And a pitch. So a foul ball makes it one and two. And yeah, that's outside. One away with a runner at third. Bounce to the right. Gets it to first. There for the out. Runner scores from third. So now the Orioles cleanup hitter, Ryan Mountcastle. Grounded out to short in his first trip. Pitch misses inside. Ball one. Singy Ryan Mountcastle, a former first round pick by the Orioles in 2015 here's the thing that gets me though he owns his own karaoke machine and can i tell you i've never done karaoke in my life you gotta try it sometime singy what's your go-to karaoke song yeah probably some song that'll cost us too much to make and there's oh, the third out helpful. that'll do it for the inning one run one hit no errors and nobody left on on to inning number four 
It's the Pirates back here at the ballpark, we and now it's Pirates. Garrett Cooper up to him. First baseman, Garrett Cooper. The pitch. The other way. Oh, come on. Run away. Good hustle, dude. Totally That's ready good. to hit right there. First pitch of the inning hits a bullet, and it just is one of those bad luck ABs. At the play, number 92. Over one so far. Chris, you played here in 2002. What are the memories that stand out as to being a member of the Baltimore Orioles? For me, it was just pulling into the parking lot and having those that were there with a, an encouraging smile or a pat on the back, regardless of how things were going, it made it a lot easier to come to the ballpark, whether you were doing well or you were struggling. And then the way that they treated your family. I mean, this is a great place to play, and I'd say it's got to be one of the top places in all of baseball. To the right side. And that one handled. Slings the first. Two quick outs here in the top of the fourth. And you had a cameo in the movie Moneyball as an <laughs> Orioles player in a highlight clip. Castro. Castro. Now at the plate as he swings through strike one. Oh, and two as he waves at that one. This is important. If he can go one, two, three here, it will be a very positive sign for him and for his team. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0 oh and 2. Kicks and fires. Foul ball still 0 oh and 2. The pitch. Got him swinging. Yeah. <laughs> and one, two, three, go the Pirates. Yeah. They're still out in front, 5 2. Back now at Oriole Park. Leading John Chabi and Chris Orioles. Singleton with you. And the leading off the bottom of the fourth, Debbie Samuel Basalo. The pitch. And a good fastball to start him off. That's strike one. Oh, and one. A little out front there as he swings through it. This guy's got such a good sinker. As a hitter, you've got to look up in the zone. If you look down, you're going to be chasing stuff in the dirt. Ground ball, left side, and foul ball. And he'll two. Foul ball, left side. He'll see another. And the righty deals. Got him. And yep. one out now. Fair enough. <clears throat> Ramon Urias, the next to hit for the Orioles. He's 0 for 1. That's in there. It's 0 and 1. And a good eye there. Hmm. One down, base is empty. And a count one and two. The wind of the pitch. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Spoils the two strike pitch and he'll see it's another. <laughs> Righty to the plate. Knocks that one away and we'll do it again. Righty delivers. And down on strikes. Yeah, he goes. baby. Back to back strikeouts. Two outs, base is empty. So no next to hit for Baltimore, oh, Austin there. Hayes. Hit by Hayes. a pitch his first time up. Bounce to third. Oops, Dude, he came it would it. not throw And he throw gets it. the first safely as a result. So I think I'll just sit here quietly in disbelief. And into the box for Baltimore, Jordan Westberg. That one oh missed. Hayes off of first with two away. Up the middle. 
Over to Cooper. Third out. Good hustle. One left for the Orioles. And the deficit remains 5-2. Back here in Baltimore, here's the speedy catcher, Henry Davis. Henry Davis. And here it comes. Swings through that. You know, these Pirates, simply put, are producing a lot of quality swings. We've already seen eight line drives from them, and it's always a good sign when the ball is jumping off your bat. And that's what this offense has been doing so far today. Tosses to first, and the leadoff man set down in their half of the fifth. Back Key to the Brian top of the lineup. Hayes. And now the Pirates lead off, man. Key Brian Hayes. And that one fouled off. And the pitch. That one the other way. Santander pulls it down. And there are two outs. Up next to the Pirates. Two outs, base is empty. Hitter. Next to hit, Andrew, Andrew McCutcheon. McCutcheon. Come on, catch. Swing and a miss. Oh, Strike no. one. This batter has to understand his job is to get on base however he can. If he gets hit by a pitch, if he walks, maybe even singles. But you want to get the heart of the order up to the plate. The 0-2. Swing and a miss, and he is Shit. down on strikes for the third straight at bat. Bucks yeah, no doubt. And welcome back. Leading Here's off. the center fielder, Warrior. Colton Kowser. The center fielder. The why to kick the pitch. Good Go eye right there. You know, these Orioles finding ways to get on base, but they still need help driving them home. They've had their chances with runners in scoring position, but nobody's been able to deliver a big hit in those situations. The 1-1. One -one. And that's a little high. And you got to give some credit to the other side as well. They've been able to get out of a few tough jams, but frustration is mounting for this offense, no doubt. Fouls one off. Two and two. Right-hander kicks deals. Swing and a miss. Yeah. Struck him out. Very nice. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. Well, he just had no the answer for that hard inside fastball right. right there. Just blew it by him. Oh, and not yeah. every pitcher likes working inside, especially with two strikes. They don't want to hit a batter and waste an opportunity to put him away. But if you can locate that fastball just like he did, most hitters aren't looking for it, and it becomes very difficult to get a piece of. Whoa. Next pitch misses. One, one and one. And one. And there's the strike. And the pitch. Fouls it off, still one and two. So glad these ballparks have installed the netting to protect the fans, keep things safer all around the league. Swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field. Sawinski makes the grab, and there's two gone. Good, good, good catch. Orioles. The designated hitter. So Gunner. up next, Gunnar Henderson. Henderson. Hey. That's in there. That's strike one. Swing and a miss as he was late that time. The wind and the pitch. And now nope. one oh. and two. It's a good take. Hammered. Base hit. So a two out knock keeps the inning alive. Man, those are the types of hits where you don't feel any vibration in your hands whatsoever. Such a good feeling. Got a fastball, middle of the plate, jumped all over it. Absolutely smoked that ball. Cooper takes it himself, yeah. gets him easily, ends the inning. And the Orioles leave one. They trail at 5-2. We're back, and they make a change to start the sixth. The new pitcher, Keegan Aiken. Pretty tight yeah, game, so they're looking for quality yeah. pitches out of him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. 
the pitch. Reynolds at the plate and takes high there. Bullpen activity starting up now. Ken Giles is up and throwing for Brandon Hyde. Little dribbler up along third. Quips it to Mountcastle. And they take care of Reynolds for the out. Good fade and sinking action of that changeup. Got that hitter to roll over. Cruz in his second season, 25 years old, and he's a former Silver Slugger recipient in the National League. Cruz in the box again, takes a strike. Comes up empty on the swing, 0 and 2 now. Another 0-2 count right here. Pitcher just in the driver's seat. He can go anywhere he wants to go right here. Just misses the mark outside the zone. And a 1-2. Swings through it for the K. Pulled the string on the changeup. And Chris, that's a way to neutralize his speed by keeping him off base. And the defense breathes a sigh of relief because he puts pressure on everyone. It's off his chest. Uh. And here's the first Gary. baseman, Garrett Cooper. Cooper. Cooper goes six feet five inches, 235 pounds, and he's driven in double digit runs over his last 10 games. Right side, hard hit. Quips uh, it to oh. Mountcastle, and that is that. So one hit. Welcome back. And now the first baseman, Ryan Mountcastle. The first baseman. Keller back to work. Swing and a miss. Strike one. Just missed. High fly ball down the left field line. Sawinski raging back towards the wall. And that ball is out of here. Ryan Mountcastle hits one out. His fourth home run of the season. And they're chipping away. It's 5-3. I thought it was foul, but you know, that's it. Well, he really crushed that thing down the line, and everyone had to hold their breath until it clanked off the pole. And every time that happens, it just kind of feels like a trip shot or something, but really, it's just a stroke of luck that it stays fair long enough. Always exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up, and you start to expect a big inning. And first offering is fouled off. And the pitch. That one pulled foul. The 0-2. The punch out there. Yeah. And that's the first out. Next for the Orioles, Ramon Urias. Slice the other way and foul. Kick Sandios. Check swing, but he went too far. And it's 0 and 2. That's inside. Next Ball offering two. is downstairs. Oh, two balls, two strikes. Good job to fight that one off. Two two down. Battling here as he fouls it away. And he deals. Spoils that one, and it remains two and two. Now well, he's desperately looking for that swing and miss. He's going to have to just 
change speeds a little bit, try to move it around, create just a little bit of illusion at the end. Next offering down low and in the dirt. Ninth pitch of the at bat due next. And down on strike. Yeah. That's his second strikeout. Here's the left fielder, Austin Hayes. The left fielder, Austin Hayes. That one's in there. That's strike one. Not what he's looking for there in the OO count. Looks like he wants the ball down in the zone. That one fouled hard the other way. The 0 2. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. Two outs. Swing and a base hit. Now he turns and heads for second. And he'll pull in there with a stand-up double. Everything came together for him. He got that front foot down, and pitch recognition was on point. Pretty impressive for an 0-2 count. Man at second here with two away. So next to hit for Baltimore, Jordan Westberg. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. And a strike in there. And at bat like this is almost over as it begins. In this situation, you have no idea what the next pitch is going to be. You just got to hope that you can make contact. Hit hard on the ground is short. Slings it across. Oh, nah. They limit the damage here. Yeah. But not before they answer back with a solo home run. It's now a 5-3 ball game. Welcome back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the mound. Ken yeah, I got to do that, too. <laughs> and Giles. Just trying to keep this one oh. close here. And this is where a bullpen can give their guys a chance to fight back into the game. The pitch. Liner snagged it first. The batter number one. So next pitch. Rodolfo Castro. To the plate for Pittsburgh, Rodolfo Castro. And the first what offering is not close. Just missed. Struggled a little bit in this one. A couple of strikeouts earlier, but doing a much better job in this at bat to get ahead and find a good hitter's count at 2-0. And yeah, the right hitter deals. And a swing and a miss. As a hitter, you got to learn something from that pitch. He clearly wasn't timed up on the fastball. In a 2-0 count, you have to be ready to do damage. This one popped up. Basalo brings it in. Two down. Two out. Space is empty. And now the catcher comes up to now him. Henry Davis. Henry Davis. The other way. He steps on the bag. And that is the third out of the inning. Nothing doing here for Pittsburgh as they hang on to their 5-3 lead. Back here at the ballpark bottom of the seventh and into the box for Baltimore Colton Kowser new pitcher now Johan Oviedo he last pitched two now days ago for Pittsburgh number 24 Johan Oviedo the pitch just missed Out to center. Reynolds gets under it. Good hustle. Pulls it in for the out. Number 95, now the next to hit for the Orioles. Edward. Julian. Warm burner into the outfield for a knock.
First pitch swing in, went up there with a the plan to be aggressive. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. And now a chance to maybe get creative on offense with good speed on first. Anderson up to bat next, lays off for a ball. Next offering upstairs. This is one of those situations defensively where you can't try to do too much. You've got to make sure that you field the ball cleanly and get one out first. It's going to be tough to get two with this kind of speed in the batter's box. Left-hand batter waits. Stamp throw. Oops, throw goes to third. Left-hand hitter waits, gets a piece, and stays alive. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of a double play here. Swung on, belted, that one carrying, and it's caught just in front of the wall. Very nice. Huh? Typically not easy to go deep to center field, but he almost did right there, and got a little help from the wind, just not enough. Now it's the right fielder, Anthony Santander. That one's in there. One one. Well, if he's going to steal second, you want him to go early in the count. That way he's not a distraction to the hitter at the plate. Go ahead and get it out of the way so the hitter can focus on the pitch. Next offering is fouled back. Tying run at the plate. And that one off the outside edge. Oh, I thought it was a strikeout. Come on. That should have been it right there. Swing and yeah. miss. And that Fair is enough. that. One left for the Orioles. We go to the eighth. Here's the third baseman, Key Brian Hayes. Number 13, Key Brian Hayes. And a pitch. Swing and a miss, strike one. Sometimes a hitter will go up there and guess, and it's not just pulling something out of the sky, but expecting because of tendencies a certain pitch in a certain location. Shit. He just guessed wrong. Come on, bro. Kicks and fires. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Here's the 0-2. Ooh. In the dirt. Throw to first. Got him. Got one it. away on the strikeout. Nice. Doubled up with the slider for that punch <laughs> out. The one before the just the caught the zone. So as a hitter, you have to protect right there. Great pitch to just expand a little bit more. He got that chase he was looking for. That right there is good pitching. And first offering is fouled off. And a foul ball. Come on, catch. In the dirt. Whips hey, it to Castle. And there's two down. Well, that slider was way out of the zone. And for me, it just comes down to not seeing the pitch out of the hand, not tracking it into the zone, and then also being a little bit anxious, not confident in your two-strike approach. And so when a guy's in that position, you get him to commit early, and a lot of times you get the swing and miss, as you did right there. Righty to the plate. Strike two. Mm. A solid inning so far in relief. Get them through this inning only down two. Yeah, no, let's get a hit. Quit let this relief to pitchers just make it look like a joke. This game with the few outs that they have left. Owen Chu now. Wouldn't oh. chase that time. the outside edge and now the count is two and two here's the two two swings across there you go right field oh. way back and 
gone. Clear the deck, cannonball coming. His second home run of the game, and they add on. It's 6-3. Singy, the ball is jumping off his bat. Yes, it is. Tons of loud contact. Man, it's been impressive. hitter gets pitch recognition early he saw exactly where that was going to be the challenge not get over anxious and come out of your swing he stayed on it and got all of it two outs nobody on next to bat will be the Pittsburgh cleanup hitter O'Neill Cruz and he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. At the belt and fires. And that one is inside ball one. Fouled off left side. pitch and yeah, the one two misses to even the count breaking ball inside counts full three and two that one ripped and that's nice. a base hit very nice I'm sure he feels really good about that one. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity, right on top of it. And yeah, the batter now, Jack Sawinski. Ball one, no strikes. Here comes a pinch. And it's one and one. Wow, no fair right there. I mean, that slider didn't move till the very last no, moment. Incredibly difficult to pick that up. Just kind of have to tip your cap on that pitch. Hammer down the line. Ah. Extra bases. Cruz around third. He will score, and they lead by four. Stringing them together, that's three hits in a row. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. At the plate for Pittsburgh, Garrett Cooper. And he swings oh and misses God. at the initial offering. That one ripped left That's field. That's out of here. This one's Let's got go. a chance. Let's go. Let's go. Nice. Back to back. So he leaves the yard to left. Yeah. His fourth home run of the season. And they add a couple more. It's 9-3. Oh, two, two pitches, two swings. That one for a home run. Looking to be aggressive all the way. And it paid off nice. for him in a big way. Slider right down the middle of the plate. It's like slow motion for a hitter. You're just licking your chops, waiting for it to arrive, and you want to hit it a long way, and he did. Kyle Bradish gets the ball now. And one thing on him, he's been really good this season at keeping the ball in the park. Not an easy guy to take deep. Number 92, the next Pirate to hit. And a little something extra at stake in this at bat as he's hitless so far with his hitting streak in jeopardy. The wind of the pitch. Swings and misses. Oh, a two now. Definitely not going to make his highlight tape.
in the dirt. Whips it to Mountcastle, and that is that. But the long ball was working in this inning. Not once, but twice. It's now 9-3. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. Ready for the bottom of the eighth. Leading and off. here's the first the baseman, Orioles. Ryan Mountcastle. The, first baseman. the pitch. Mountcastle. There's a strike. That's inside. That's inside. One ball, one strike. Good fastball there. I think it was a purpose pitch. Just want to make that hitter's feet uncomfortable. And that location will definitely do it. And now it's one and two. Swings and yeah. misses. Had him way out front of the slur. Well, that's always the key to effective pitching is getting ahead in the count. And as a pitcher, it really allows you to start expanding the zone. Guys become defensive, and all of a sudden, for the hitter, that plate starts to get really wide. And what happens is, because of the pressure, you end up committing to a pitch as a batter before you recognize what it is, and that's what leads to the strikeout. And that one fouled off. Righty delivers. Runs it up to 96 oh, to record know. the punch out. Oh, tough night at the dish. Punching out for the third time right there. He just hasn't looked very comfortable at the plate. A little unsure of his timing right now. Not picking up the spin and location of these pitches. He'll have some adjustments to make. The wind of the pitch. Line drive. Base hit down the line. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy, didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep, took the barrel right to it, and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. Oh, that's that slurve right there. He threw it extremely well. He talked about just a ton of break. This one swung on and hit well. Way back there. And caught on the no, landing perfect. track. And the Orioles no, leave perfect. one. Still way back. It's 9-3. Back now at Oriole Park. And now it's the switch oh, inning second yeah, baseman, yeah, Rodolfo this. Castro. And here comes. You see the velocity, 97 with that fastball. And that one just missed off the outside edge. Way high. On the ground, right side. Over to first. And they get the leadoff man in the ninth. Up next for the Pirates, Henry Davis. Henry Davis. Radish in his third season. He features a four seam fastball, a slider, a curve, a changeup, and he works in a two seamer. Oh, and two as he waves at that one. And ball one. Struck him out without a swing. Called strike three and a fastball up in the zone. Now the third baseman, T. Brian Hayes. And that misses off the outside edge. Swing and a miss. And the count one and one. It might be time to choke up a little bit, get that front foot down early, maybe even just spread out. He's really late right now. The one one is fouled off. The wide to kick the pitch. Eh. Santander racing after it. 
Damn. The wall, Good hustle, bro. Back. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left. Eight, nine. And welcome back. We head Leading to the bottom of the ninth. Now Warriors. it's the shortstop, Jordan Not Westberg. Shortstop. And the right hander back to work. Going one. Ooh, Ooh bye. Yeah. You got to remember to take the donut off the bat, partner. <laughs> Missing inside, inside. Uh, and it's a ball to strike. Swing and a line drive, slicing into right field, and a base hit, and the leadoff man aboard. Everything came together perfectly for him right there. Fastball pretty much middle middle, and that's what you fall asleep dreaming about as a hitter. So no surprise, he put a great swing on it. Kowser stands in here. Tried to hold back his swing there, but went around. If you're going to get something going, this is the time to do it. You get the leadoff man on. Everybody's got to look over the shoulder and say, I'm just going to keep the line moving. Don't try to do too much. Westberg gets his lead at first with nobody out. That one lifted to left. Sawinski in position. And it's caught for the out. Now pitch. Number 95, the next to hit for the Orioles. And that's in there for strike one. Always tough to turn two on a speedster like this. It's even harder with him coming out of the left-handed batter's box. You really need something to hit hard on the ground that they can handle to turn two quickly. And no one can get there. Westberg, round second on his way to third. Him to third safely as a run scores. Well, Singy, he is locked in there. Well, he's really slowed the game down, and it's like he's moving in full speed, and everybody is a step or two behind. The way that he squared up that baseball tells me that he is seeing it like a beach ball. Next offering is in for a strike. All one there. Definitely a swing and miss slider down and in. He finished that really well. Just couldn't get him to offer at it. Swing and a miss uh, for the strikeout. Pulled the string one and the changeup. He's locked in at the plate when he's using the whole field. He was out in front there. Just needs to let the ball travel a little more, and his timing will be back on track. Good pitch for the strikeout. Santander in the box now. No balls and a strike. Tries to get back and save. Two outs with a runner at third. Strike two. One more strike. Come on. That one missed. Two strikes. There's a swing and a drive. On its way. And out of here. Anthony Blair. Santander knocks one out. His seventh home run of the season. And they cut into the lead. It's 9-6. This crowd back alive. Oh, that one got in the jet stream on a line drive. You saw the numbers on the backs of the jerseys of the outfielders, which is usually bad news, and all of a sudden, they're back in this ballgame. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Ryan Mountcastle. That one misses. 1-0. and oh. Pitching coach making his way to the mound, all quiet in the pen. So I guess he just wants to settle him down a little bit out there. The 1 0. -oh. Hard hit, right side. Oh no, he threw what it the home. And he gets the first safely as a result. So I think I'll just that would have been the game right there. Why I'm did you sure do that? that shit. One. So let's just chalk that up to uh, maybe a big thumb. Okay, we won't mention it again. And yeah, the righty deals. Swing and a miss. Come on, bro. Oh, one more strike. That's the end. Tired of screwing around with these guys. 
And the pitch is outside, ball one. Stays alive. Fights it off, you'll see another. Come on, man. Next pitch is downstairs. Uh oh, wrong base as it goes to third. Next pitch downstairs. And now it's three Come on, and two. Man. That turns out to be a really good take right there, but you don't want to end this game with the bat on your shoulder. The three two oh, is off bullshit. the outside edge, and that is ball four. Well, interesting. He went with the off no, speed man. and walked the hitter. hitter. Man, you gotta challenge the guy with the fastball. Urias, the next to hit takes high for ball one. Oh, this has been a rough. I'm done with this. Inning, but sometimes you just got to work through it, save the rest of that bullpen, somehow stop the bleeding. David Bednar taking over on the mound. He's pitching on two days rest. We're going to end this right now. The 1 0. And that's in there at the knees for a strike. Mountcastle at second. Basalo on at first with two down. That misses. Two balls and a strike. Oh, an interesting situation. One swing, you can tie up the ball game. But if you're patient and work a walk, then you bring the game-winning run to the plate. Down to their final strike. Swing! Yeah, yeah baby! And that's the ball there game. There he is, the closer. Well, Four-pitch save. He was just starting to get comfortable out there after throwing a lot of pitches in the bullpen in this one. But a nice very job nice. of attacking the hitters, being very efficient. And this is what you want to do. You want to come in and you want to close things out as quickly as possible. 9-6 the final in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon. All right, guys, that was game one with the Orioles. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you all have a wonderful night, and we will catch you on the next one.